The amendments to the Health Practitioners Act allow the Grenada Medical and Dental Council to accredit programs to prepare students to receive medical doctor degrees. St. George's University, SGU, who will be directly affected by the changes, now has to undertake a third level of accreditation. According to Senator Simon Steele, it would give Grenada the power to repeal the current law, which designates the Caribbean Accreditation Authority for Education in Medicine and other health professions as the sole official accreditation body for medical schools. However, private sector Senator Christopher Diali questions the need for another accreditation body, there being an existing national accreditation board, which is already doing the job. The other question I have is the issue of delegation, where it says in Clause 6 that the GMDC could delegate. So my question is, does the GMDC delegate this to, to the national accreditation body if they, because they are the ones so far with the expertise and the necessary staffing to carry out accreditation, which is a highly specific and highly technical area of, 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 um, of investigation, Mr. President. Senator Diali says, in his understanding, the functions of the Greater Medical and Dental Council was to ensure that doctors are licensed, have the requisite qualifications, and are doing the refresher courses to maintain quality of service. We have an instance in, in Grenada recently that was brought to my attention, Mr. President, where there is a dentist operating in Grenada without a license. The Medical Association brought this to the attention of the police, and the gentleman still continues to operate because the Medical Council, GMGC, is not sure of their powers under the Act. The police is aware that the police is show sure if they could close him down and under what authority. <clears throat> so we have issues with the Act itself, to me, that are more critical to be dealt with because this is patient's life we're dealing with. And if you have a gentleman operating as a dentist in Grenada without a license, how could his doors still be open? He says the current Act needs to be further strengthened while also highlighting concerns of additional costs for accreditation and the timeline for the process of accreditation. In his response, Senator Steele says the rationale has to do with the importance of St. George's University, national interest, and the boosting of the credentials of SGU. I am Gerald Joseph for GBN News.